Hello everyone, my name is Chacha Wabara. Welcome to yet another episode. Today we'll be reviewing the movie A Lesson of uh, the King's Horseman. Now, Elessi Opa is, um, is a Yoruba movie, subtitled in English, and um, came out soon after Annie Kulapo. As a matter of fact, I was thinking it will be something like Annie Kulapo. I, I was encouraged to see Elessi Opa because of my experience with Annie Kulapo. So Elessi Oba is, like I said, a Yoruba movie, um, an historical movie that uh, centers around the British um, rule in Nigeria, in the southern part of Nigeria, in Yoruba land, and specifically, you know, tradition um, in some parts of Yoruba land. Now, um, it has a amazing actors and actresses to mention but a few but um Odun Lade, Adekola, Shafi Bello, Deemi Okanlawo, um you've got Mark Elder King, Jenny Stead, mixture of um Nigerians and white people you know to signify the rule the British rule like I'd earlier pointed out. Now Alessio Ba <laughs> Um, centers on the particular culture where, you know, you have the king's horseman, which signifies that um, when the king dies, you know, there is someone who has to die alongside the king, not alongside the king, maybe soon after the king dies, to serve the king, to accompany the king on, you know, his journey to the great beyond, okay? So, um... Obdun Lade Adekola was the king's horseman and he was proud of it. He was happy to be the king's horseman. He gloried in it. He, he, you know, he was happy to be known. It was his family's designation. It was his family's work in life, ministry per se. So when the king died, Elessiopa, that is the king's husband, that is Odun Lade, was expected to die with the king after some time. Now Elessiopa had, um, Odun Lade had a particular flaw, which was um, women. And Odun Lade requested for a particular woman before he would die, he said he wanted to enjoy everything. He requested for all that he wanted, and the people were glad. Were you know, spared no no bounds. You know, spared no holes to satisfy Odunade's cravings, his his wishes before he begins his travel to the great beyond. And now. Um, he, he had all the women he wanted. He had all the riches he wanted. He he was welcomed everywhere. He was praised. He he gloried in it. And you know, at such as a time as when he was supposed to die, and it, the the ritual had begun. The whole village, the whole community was looking forward to it. The uh, those who were in support of the British rule, who were you know, who had gotten indoctrinated were of the opinion that it was say now it was an ungodly act. It was not supposed to be done and the district officer or something like that sought to stop that practice. And then Odunla Day was stopped from fulfilling his duty which was to die for the king which was to die to accompany the king and the people were in such a shock and now you have Demi Okanlo. Demi Okanlo is the son of Odunlade who had gone to Britain to study had become a medical doctor had come back but he held firm his people's belief he held firm the culture he believed you know, he believed in 
the role his family was supposed to play in the event that the king dies. And he waited for his father to die because it was an honor for his family. So when Odunlade was stopped from dying, it was such a huge shame. And he was so angry with his father. He told his father in no uncertain terms that he was ashamed of his father and the father had brought huge shame to them, huge dishonor, and he ought to die. Meanwhile, Odunade is in prison and begging to die, begging to be killed. And the people have come to tell him that he has dishonored the culture, that he had gotten everything he wanted. And the one thing that was expected of him, he couldn't do. And Oduna, they couldn't stomach the shame. Yes. And then, they and Meokano, in a bid to save the family's honor, in a bid to save the family's name, in a bid to honor the, 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 the culture that he honestly believed in, that had not gotten eroded, even, you know, despite the fact that he had gone to the white man's country, he had gotten the white man's education, he still staunchly believed in that, in his culture, he instead died in the place of his father. And Odunlade was so, you know, he was so sad. I know that a lot of us have seen this movie, you know, it's not a new movie anymore. I am sorry, I'm just reviewing this movie now. But um, when this movie came out and I was, you know, I came across some comments on some tweets rather on um, on on Twitter that uh, you know about Alessio Bar that they were expecting something explosive. They were expecting that it was just like an anti climax after Anikulapo. It kind of like made me not want to watch the movie, and then until I saw this movie, um, <laughs> it is. A hundred times different from Anikola Bo. I'm not here to review Anikola Bo. We've done that already and we've gone past that. But, you know, this movie is supposed to be done on the stage. It's a theater. It's supposed to be a theater. It's supposed to be made for the theater, you know. It's supposed to be made for the stage, you know, where you come in and sit down and watch, not for movie production, if I may say. It's like one of those movies, it's like one of those, you know, it's actually a a playwright, you know. It's, it's it, sh it will be better appreciated if it is performed on the stage. Like the gods are not to blame kind of thing. The gods are not to blame if it's converted to a movie. I don't think it will be wonderful to see. It's just meant for the stage, okay? That's what I mean. So Alessio Ba will be better appreciated on the stage. And, you know, you will grasp the electricity. Because even without, even with it being a movie, which was, a, which was downplayed, you could see... You could understand the richness of the culture, the African culture, the Yoruba culture, the Nigerian culture. But, you know, vis-a-vis -vis the African culture, the culture that you would, you know, want to see. And you would be like, yeah, this is the culture. This is what we know. This is what we were told before, you know, the British rule, before the white man came into Africa and all of that. You will begin to appreciate it and understand it and glory in it, if I may say. And then Alessio Ba is um, an amazing movie. Um, the cinematography was amazing. They tried to capture uh, the pre-independence time. They tried to capture the, you know, the serenity. What would I call it now? The ambience that you would find in that time, post you no know, pre-independence. You know, that time. The location used was good. It was, despite the darkness, it was a bit too dark for me. Most of everything that was done was done at night. But it was amazing to see. It was clear or sharp. The cinematography, I have no issues there. The plot was on point. But um, 
it shouldn't have been a movie it should have been on the theater you know it should have been in the theater rather and um, it would have been better appreciated but um, i am still happy that i got the opportunity to see alessio bar and i'm sorry for the late review but then like i will say um shafi bello was amazing shafi bello did you know amazingly well you know in portraying that that um duty that had to be fulfilled despite the fact that you know she was you know hurting her family um i i loved what dm okanlo did it was he was vivid in his in his in his um in his acting in his um, understanding in portraying what he understood you know he had to bring to the table um odunla day was amazing um i can understand what he did from the beginning of the movie but where i where where you know the scene that captivated me that you know took all my attention was the point where he was stopped from dying to go accompany the king he was he was he was broken he he didn't know what to do he was beyond he was beyond himself he was neither in the in this world nor out of this world he he you know he captured it he portrayed it he, he, he made he brought that feeling to life and it was amazingly brilliant okay so this movie i will be rating it a 9 over 10 it was good it was good i don't know i don't know why a lot of people do not like the movie but i liked it i understood it i i i i, I got the message the the actors and actresses were trying to portray and it, it further made me appreciate our culture and enjoy it and smile and it's kind of like a movie I would like to see again if I have the time if you haven't seen it do watch it I know a lot of us have seen this movie and if you have do leave a comment down below I'll be sure to respond which brings me to the end of this review up there you see my Korean movie review, my Chinese movie review, my Nigerian movie review, and then again my movie reviews. If you haven't subscribed, do hit on this on the subscribe button and um, click on the bell notifications to be alerted when new videos come your way. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you.